Hey, I'm Chef Jeremiah with Blue Ocean Market. And seeing as how we're in oyster season, I thought today we'd make some nice oysters Rockefeller. So we're gonna start by making the Rockefeller topping. That's gonna use two quarts of whole milk. And we're gonna warm that milk up. We're gonna scald it, that's about 160 degrees. We're gonna put one bay leaf, two pieces of clove down in there. Now, while our milk is steeping, we need to make the roux. Roux is one of those things that trips some people up, others not as much. Roux is just a thickening agent that we're gonna to use to thicken our milk, and it's gonna be butter and flour cooked together. And today we're going to make a blonde roux. So first we're gonna melt our butter. butter's melted and we're going to add our flour. Now roux is equal parts clarified fat and flour cooked together. So if I've got a quarter pound of butter, I'm going to use a quarter pound of flour. There are some visual indicators that let you know you're on the right path. One is it needs to look like wet sand. quite thick enough. And one of the key points in the definition of roux is that you need to cook it. If I just add this into the milk, it's gonna look like sand and it will not thicken. So it's gonna go for about 10 minutes. All right, we've cooked our roux for about eight minutes and you'll see with some constant stirring, the roux has come out about blonde, which is just perfect. Now I've started with a quarter pound of butter and that makes a quarter pound of flour in there and I'm, I'm thickening one half gallon of milk. So two quarts of milk, one half gallon is going to be thickened by one half pound of roux. So to finish our Rockefeller topping, we're gonna saute a little bacon and you're just crisping the bacon up at this point. And with that bacon, just a little bit of garlic. We've got a nice uh, chunky chop on the garlic. That's a little better than uh, the fine minced garlic. That will burn very quickly. Spinach. And we're gonna cook that down. All right, so we've cooked down our spinach mixture a little bit. We're gonna add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. At this point, we'll add our milk in. I'm gonna take that bay leaf out of there. Nobody wants to eat him, along with our cloves. And then the milk. And roux needs to boil to thicken. And you'll need to boil that for about 10 minutes to get the flour taste out of there. Well, to do this, we're gonna need to have oysters on the half shell. So we're gonna have to shuck a couple. Here we sell our wonderful toadfish uh, oyster shucking knives. They're much more heavy duty than what you would get at the store or something like Food Lion. And these are gonna work wonderfully. So you find the joint in the oyster. Please, please, please use a towel so you don't get your hand. And you just pop. Come on down. And you wanna take the abductor muscle off the shell so that when your guest or you go to eat it, it's not stuck in there. And we'll do just a couple here. Now I, I do want to mention something on the oysters. These are Isaiah Smith's Cedar Island oysters for 35 North America culture. And uh, Isaiah has cultivated oysters year round. 
these oysters are as good in July as they are right now. And uh, honestly, if I'm going to do a nicer dish like this, this is what I would prefer to use in a restaurant application or at my house. They're sized nicely. They're super clean. And they're always fresh. A Rockefeller topping is coming up to temperature. And you see that thickening nicely with the roux. All right, and we're just gonna simmer that for another five minutes and then we'll chill it down. We do not wanna put this on top of our oysters hot because we'll cook them with the sauce and that's, we wanna cook them in the oven. So we have the cooled Rockefeller topping. I would suggest making the mixture a day ahead of time and cooling this in your refrigerator overnight. But if you, uh, if you needed to make it the day of, about two hours in the fridge at 41 degrees would cool this down. All right, so about a tablespoon of topping and the two quarts should make, oh, about 60 oysters worth of topping. So if you wanted to half the recipe for 30, or you could double it for 120. We give a nice generous tablespoon on top of each oyster. All right, so we're finishing up topping our oysters here. And I did wanna mention, this is fine chilled for up to five days. It's got bacon, spinach, milk. There's really no seafood in there. And if you wanted to seal it up tight in a bag and freeze it, it would hold in your freezer for three to six months. Okay. So there is, uh, you don't have to use it all the same day. So we're gonna top our Rockefeller with a little shredded, not grated, but shredded Parmigiano Reggiano. And we have some nice Japanese panko breadcrumb. And these are gonna cook at 500 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. You want the beautiful brown, crispy, and then all that nice bubbly hot Rockefeller topping and your salty and sweet oyster on the bottom. And as I said, 500 degrees, 12 to 15 minutes.